Hello students, today I am going to discuss some previous year gate questions on signals and systems. And this is our first question for a periodic signal V of t equal to 30 sin 100 t plus 10 cos 300 t plus 6 sin 500 t plus pi by 4. The fundamental frequency in radians per second. So here one signal is given V of t. And from this signal, we have to find out the fundamental frequency value, fundamental frequency component and it should be in radians per second. So, we have to calculate omega naught. So, here V of t consists of three signal components that is 30 sin 100 t plus 10 cos 300 t plus 6 sin 500 t plus pi by 4. So, from the first component that is 30 sin 100 t. So, which is of the form A sin omega t. So, here omega from the first signal component we can write omega 1, omega 1 equal to 100. So, from the first signal component of V of t, the angular frequency omega 1 is equal to 100 radians per second. From the second component that is 10 cos 300 t we can write omega 2 omega 2 is equal to 300 radians per second and the third signal component is 6 sin 500 t plus pi by 4 so from that we can write this pi by 4 is phase difference so here omega 3 that is omega value is 500 so omega 3 equal to 500 radians per second. So, this V of t consists of three signal components and from each signal component we have determined the angular frequencies omega 1, omega 2 and omega 3 and from these three angular frequencies we have to find out the fundamental frequencies. So, the fundamental frequency omega naught for this periodic signal can be determined by taking the HCF, HCF of omega 1, omega 2 and omega 3. If, if the given question is uh, in time period, then we have to take the LCM of T1, T2 and T3. Since it is in ang uh, radians per second, we have to take the HCF of omega 1, omega 2 and uh, omega 3 that is HCF of 100, 300 and 500. So, HCF the highest common factor of these uh, three frequencies is 100 radians per second. So, we know how to calculate the HCF of uh, numbers. So, from this we can calculate the HCF of uh, 100, 300 and 500 and that is equal to 100 radians per second and the answer will be option E that is 100 radians per second. So, this is the first question this is related to uh, the periodic signal classification of signal that is periodic or a periodic signal. So, uh, we can move to next question. Next question is related to uh, the LTA system that is linear time invariant system and the question is the impulse response of a continuous time system is given by H of t is equal to del of t minus 1 plus del of t minus 3. The value of step response at t is equal to 2. This is the question. So, here, here H of t value h of t value is given as del of t minus 1 plus del of t minus 3. h of t is actually it is impulse response. So, impulse response we know impulse response means for a system with the input impulse function then the output of that system is known as impulse response and it is represented by h of t. 
here h of t is given we have we have to calculate the value of step response so step response step response is represented by s of t and we have a formula for calculating step response that is integral minus infinity to t h of t dt so this is the equation for calculating step response here we are not using any equations because uh, actually step response means the input is a step function if the input of the system is a step input or u of t then the output of that system is known as step response so here we can directly substitute so step response can be calculated s of t is equal to so instead of del function we can directly substitute u function so u function as input the output of that system is known as step response so s of t can be calculated as u of t minus 1 plus u of t minus 3 so from this we can calculate the value of s of t so if we plot u of t minus 1 u of t minus 1 is this is u of t minus 1 so from 1 to uh, infinity the value so this is t so from 1 to infinity the value of u of t minus 1 is 1 so this is u of t minus 1 next is u of t minus 3 so u of t minus 3 is from 3 to infinity the value will be 1 so these are some shifted step functions so here we have to calculate u of t minus 1 plus u of t minus 3 so we have to add these two signals u of t minus 1 and u of t minus 3 on adding we will get a signal that is starting from 1 and then it will go up to 3 the value will be 1 then from 3 the value will be 2 so this is the signal s of t so if s of t is equal to u of t minus 1 plus u of t minus 3 so we have to add u of t minus 1 and u of t minus 3 the signal will be from 1 1 to 3 the value will be 1 and from 3 to uh, infinity the value will be 2 so our question is what is the value of step response at t is equal to 2 so from this figure at t is equal to 2 2 means this point what is the value of step response so, so the value will be 1 so we can calculate directly without using any equation the value will be 1 so option b is the correct answer so from the uh, figure we can write uh, at t is equal to 2 the value is 1 so the option is option b that is 1 so next week we can discuss about the sampling so this is a question from sampling theorem so a band limited signal with a maximum frequency of 5 kilohertz is to be sampled according to sampling theorem the sampling frequency which is not valid the question is very clear uh, the sampling theorem we know the sampling theorem fs should be greater than 2 fm this is the condition for sampling that is the signal the sampling frequency the sampling frequency fs should be greater than or equal to 2 fm fm is the highest frequency component or the maximum frequency value the highest frequency component so this is fm is the highest frequency component so this condition 
is to be satisfied for proper sampling if fs is less than 2 fm if fs is less than 2 fm the signal the original signal cannot be recovered from the sampled signal so the sampling theorem does not satisfy for fs less than 2 fm here the maximum frequency is given as 5 kilohertz so fm is given as 5 kilohertz so if we calculate 2 fm 2 fm then the value will be 10 kilohertz so from the option we can find out the correct answer according to the sampling theorem the sampling frequency which is not valid so the valid condition is only fs greater than 2 fm so the sampling frequency should be greater than or equal to 2 fm so 2 fm is 10 kilohertz so the sampling frequency given uh, from the given options the correct answer is option a since 12 kilohertz that is greater than 10 kilohertz 15 kilohertz which is always greater than 10 kilohertz 20 kilohertz greater than 10 kilohertz which means all these three frequencies are satisfying the sampling condition so from this we can recover the original signal so this is proper sampling conditions so b c and d are proper sampling condition so the va the valid conditions are b c and d so according to our question the sampling theorem which is not satisfied that is option a so option a is the option a is the correct answer so next question assuming zero initial conditions the response y of t of the system given below to a unit step input u of t is so here uh, one system is represented with the input u of s so input is u of s so we can we know that this is an lta system since uh, the impulse response is given as 1 by s so input is u of s so we can write input is u of s then uh, impulse response impulse response is given as 1 by s and output is represented as y of s so we have to find out the response y of t that means that is the inverse laplace transform value we have to find out so u of s means u of s means the laplace transform of u of t so laplace transform of u of t that is u of s so u of t laplace transform u of s value is 1 by s so we can redraw this figure as input is u of s or 1 by s u of s value is equal to 1 by s and h of s value is equal to again 1 by s and the response is given as y of s we know that according to the convolution theorem y of t is equal to x of t convoluted with the h of t here the input is given as u of t so here taking laplace transform y of s is equal to x of s into h of s here x of s is given as 1 by s and h of s is 1 by s x of s and h of s input value and the impulse value both are 1 by s so y of s will be equal to 1 by s square this is the value of y of s taking inverse laplace transform so taking inverse laplace transform taking inverse laplace transform the inverse of y of s is given as y of t so what is the inverse of 1 by s square 1 by s is u of t and 1 by s square is t u of t so the option option b is the correct answer so option b is the correct answer for this question so this is a question related to linear time invariant system and uh, convolution so applying convolution we can find out the value of uh, y of t uh, 
uh, from the given question okay thank you